teams. A lot of people say this is all going to favor the the high end teams, blue chip teams. It's like maybe, but also some of these teams that maybe aren't as prominent, you can lose a game, two games, and still potentially get an opportunity if you're in one of the conferences that is held in high regard. Now, with that being said, I don't believe that is the case for the Hawaiian team, but. What we need to know is there is a gambling stat about this Hawaiian team that needs to be talked about, and the world needs to know about it, because Hawaii is obviously the greatest place on earth. The, the greatest place on earth. Hawaii is the greatest place on earth. 100%. It is my favorite place to go, my wife's favorite place. It is so awesome. Uh, the people, obviously fantastic, incredibly cool. The weather fantastic is everywhere perfect no but that place is damn close if you go as a visitor try, try to buy a house there most times i visited out there so that's kind of how i think it all goes love the place need them to be great this year so the game day has to go to hawaii yes you know let's get a let's get a game day trip to hawaii mid-season that'd be fun mm -hmm. with that being said game day is phenomenal in their openers tone this feels like a uh, a thing that more people need to know about. Now. Yeah, so it's a unique situation this year. They're playing in week zero. Uh, Hawaii, the Hawaii program was almost ruined a couple years ago um, by a head coach. I'm not going to say his name. It doesn't need to be talked about. But uh, I'm not sure if you remember the name. Timmy Chang, great Hawaii quarterback. He is back. He's the head coach in Hawaii, and he turned things back around last season. Um, so they are on the up and up. The 12-2 and two ATS, one of the losses, I believe, was in the last two years. So oh, they no. Were, no, no, no. We're, we're back. We're back. The program is back. Now, with Delaware State, they actually uh, had a bus snafu, and they missed their flight uh, out of LaGuardia or JFK. I can't remember which yeah. one. So I don't even know if they have made their way to Hawaii yet. The total... It's a long trip. It went up to... Uh, after the bus snafu uh, news, it went up to 40 and a half. It's, I think it's back down to 39 and a half. But uh, midnight on Saturday, this midnight Saturday, okay, when we're flying back, uh, this is going to be the game that we're going to have on. Um, I think everyone should probably get some action down on the maybe minus 39. Strap in, boys. We'll have the game on for sure. Yeah, midnight midnight over. Eastern, sorry. Yeah, that, that's a midnight Eastern body clock kick for uh, Delaware State as well. Tough, uh, tough body clock. That's a lot of points, though. A lot of points. A ton of points, but Timmy Chang Timmy put Chang. up points. Delaware State, I mean, come on. I didn't even know they had a school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Hawaii by a thousand. And now they can't get to Hawaii. Yeah. I mean, that's a problem. When you get to Hawaii and you pull out, like, the map, you know, because, like, where am I? If you just do one of those, just, like, one of those, Hawaii looks real small and it's just blue. Yeah. I mean, you well, are out there in the middle of it. Have you ever been, AJ? Long time ago, yeah, but not, not much. I think, like, I learned of it as a kid watching a Pro Bowl when they were out in Hawaii. Yes. And it looks so awesome. Everything looks so awesome. I'm a big, like, love waterfalls guy. Love waterfalls. I think waterfalls are the coolest. Big, big fan of waterfalls. Had a couple waterfalls in the woods, you know, where I used to potentially run through. Yeah. They were, like, destination places. Like, all right, let's go get to that. But we'll go do that. We'll do that entire thing. So, I was, so when you watch that Pro Bowl as a kid, it's like the weather was perfect. It looked like everybody's having so much fun. It looked like football was being celebrated at the highest level. And then they do like some scenic shots. It's like, is that that's heaven? That's the mm -hmm. that's the place, you know? So then I, I start Oos start taking over mm -hmm. the world and it's like, this is the place. I love it. Work my ass off to get to a Pro Bowl, of course, no longer in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do it in the cities in which you see bullets. Yeah. Ain't nobody knows you're gonna go to Arizona, which is also a nice place. But you're gonna have to drive an hour and a half in the desert to practice, come back and you're gonna build a cement walkway. Lay some concrete, <laughs> like pro bowlers do. Like, what the fuck? I thought we were doing dances under waterfalls. Uh, we got some news out of Delaware State football from Stan Beck. It looks like vibes are still high for Delaware State football, even if they missed their flight to Hawaii. Missed their flight, okay. They missed their flight and uh, having a problem with the flight, two different things. I do appreciate a narrative being built about Delaware State not even being able to make a fucking plane trip yep. uh, to a missed their flight. So mm. they didn't get, didn't get to security on time. You bet it's going to happen. happen. Or there was a technical problem and it was delayed, which is probably more. It was a bus snafu. Apparently, I, I don't know if the bus broke down or whatever, but on when they were driving from Delaware to LaGuardia or JFK, I can't remember which one it was, something happened with the bus, so they didn't get there in time for their flight. Three-hour so drive from their campus to JFK Airport. We're not flying so. you guys to JFK. You know how much it is to fucking fly everyone to Hawaii? How do you get everybody rebooked? How do you get a whole team rebooked on a flight to Hawaii? You got to charter. Were they charter? I know they weren't chartering to begin with, obviously. So Delaware State had to put up a charter? 